Test your knowledge. Join Traders Academy today. This lesson will explain the various ways to locate a specific bond and display it on the page. At the end of this lesson, you should feel comfortable in finding specific bonds or a selection of available bonds for US governments, corporate bonds, or muni bonds. With the monitor panel now configured to enable users to see the type of information that bond participants are familiar with, we can start to add bonds to the display. There are several ways to load a ticker to TWS, and I will demonstrate several methods. When bonds are issued, they are designated a unique identifier known as a QSIP. If you know a bond's QSIP, it can be typed into a cell to load that bond. IB has its own unique identifier known as an IBCID. This too can be typed into a cell to load a bond. I will show you these later in this lesson, but let's start with US government issues. In order to locate any US government issued debt, simply type in US-T and hit enter. Select bills, notes and bonds by hitting the enter key or clicking with the mouse to open the contract selection display. From here, you can locate products you wish to monitor or trade and add them to your display. To the right is a scroll bar, and if I drag the bar down the list, you can see the vast selection of debt to choose from. To help refine your search, let's look at the filters in the column to the left of the contract selection tool. These help you search by exchange, type, maturity date, and issue date, the coupon, and whether the bond is tradable using TWS or not. In later examples, you will also see a currency filter. Let's walk through these filters one at a time. Selecting bond large from the exchange filter in this case quickly enables users to see on the run or active maturities. Notice that there are just a handful of active treasuries at any one time and the display is ranked by maturity date from nearest to farthest. Notice also under the QSIP column that each bond is assigned its unique IB identifier, the IBCID. The instrument type is listed and in this case consists of just notes and a bond. Coupons are listed in the right hand column. Selecting smart from the exchange filter displays all available issues. The available number of bond or build types is displayed next to the type filter. The type is also displayed above the contracts listed in the center of the page. As I click on each debt type from this filter, the display returns just those instruments that match the selection. By selecting a specific maturity date for your search, the number of available issues will shrink dramatically. You may select multiple dates at the same time by holding down the shift key and clicking suitable maturity dates. If I select bonds from the type filter, the search will only return a single issue for each maturity date. You can also see a single issue date in the filter below from that year. Below that, you will see a single coupon listed to describe that bond's unique profile. Now, if I select the range of dates from 2026 through 2030, the search will return a list of bonds to choose from. Each bond has its own issue date, and the coupon filter also reflects this change to the search. This may help you locate a bond within a suitable maturity range and specific desired coupon. To add one of these to your monitor, click on the line in the contract selection tool and use the add button at the bottom of the page. Click additional bonds if you wish and click apply. You can select multiple bonds by depressing the shift key and click add. You could also choose the select all button, which will highlight all bonds on display and add them to the monitor page. So remember that if you wish to add any US debt, always start with US-T for US Treasury. Let's look next at adding corporate bonds to your monitor. The process is similar to that for US Treasuries, but the starting point is to enter the company's stock ticker. In this example, I will use the underlying ticker symbol for a dear and company, ticker DE. This will help you understand a little more about refining your search and perhaps avoiding simple errors. Type DE and hit enter to reveal the contract selection menu. All listings for underlying DE are displayed. However, you should look carefully before making a selection. Shares in DEER are listed primarily on the NYSE, 
the top selection. But they are also listed on both EBS and FWB in Europe. However, the same DE ticker symbol is also assigned to another company listed on Canada's Venture Exchange. We are searching for fixed income. Note that DE is also assigned to the German Republic and selecting Government Fixed Income from the menu would list outstanding German government debt in Euros. The correct selection is listed under Corporate Fixed Income. Click that selection to display the Contract Selection tool. If I widen the Issuer column, this will reveal all subsidiaries whose debt is listed in TWS. The filters will only appear when an entity is selected. I'll click on the top level, Deer & Company, and the display will populate with all outstanding Deer bonds. Notice that the list of filters also activates. You can see how the available listing changes if another issuer is selected from the filter. Earlier, I mentioned that the filters column might also display a currency selection menu. This specific ticker is a great example of the care you should take in locating bonds. At the top level of Deer & Company, note the information displayed about the listing of bonds. This reflects the issuer, type, exchange and currency. You can see that each of the listed bonds is in USD, but there is no currency filter listed in the left column. That's because this issuer, Deer & Company, has only issued US dollar denominated bonds. However, if I select the next entity, John Deere Bank SA, look what happens to the currency above the display. It displays bonds in EUR or Euro currency. Once again, there is no currency filter to the left for this entity as it only issues in Euro currency. If I make the next selection for John Deere Funding Inc., the display lists only bonds denominated in Canadian dollars. Again, there is no currency filter. There are more USD bonds under John Deere Capital Corp., but none of these subsidiary issues in more than one currency. For other corporate bonds, you will see that currency filter when the entity issues in multiple currencies. In this case, the filter can be applied to display only bonds denominated in that currency. So back to Deer & Co, and I am ready to make a selection. As with Treasuries, simply highlight the bond you wish to add to the monitor and click Apply and OK when done. The monitor now reflects the bonds I have added, and when clicked, the bond will display in Charts, Order Entry, or any other color-linked panel. I will return to Order Entry in another lesson. You should now be able to enter the ticker for any underlying security and locate available corporate bonds. However, if you are very familiar with the instruments you wish to add to your display, you may know the QSIP of the bond or its unique identifier. If you do, simply type it into TWS and hit Enter. Here is an example using an IBM bond with a 6.5% coupon maturing 2018. QSIPs are available from a bond's prospectus and data providers. Adding this to my monitor, you will also notice that this number populates the QSIP column rather than its IBCID identifier. You may also locate IBCID numbers from the IBKR website page under the Products menu by selecting Product Listings and then Bonds. Finally, if you do not know the underlying stock ticker for a corporate name, try typing it into the monitor. Let's use Dollar General as an example. If I type in the name and hit enter, the search dialog box will appear. All instances of Dollar General are returned and are grouped by stock, options, futures and bonds. If I deselect by clicking on the checkbox, everything but the bond selection, the result is the bond issuer I was looking for. Highlight the choice and click OK to open the contract selection box. Available bonds for Dollar General are listed and you may now filter by maturity or coupon if you wish. Add any bond to the monitor, display by clicking Add and OK when finish. You can use the same search method to locate bonds issued by foreign governments or their agencies. For example, if I type Brazil into the monitor and restrict the search to just bonds and notes, a selection of related bonds is returned. In this case, selecting BR and hitting OK creates the contract selection box displaying available issues for the Federal Republic of Brazil. Notice that across the top of this page there is no currency field. In this case, there is a currency filter on the left of the page. Notice also that the display includes a currency column and you can see that although primarily issued in USD, this sovereign has outstanding debt in both Euros and Brazilian Real. Use the currency filter 
filter on the left to isolate just issues in either euros or local currency. Or select the USD to select dollar issues. To return to the all-inclusive currency display, click the Smart selection under the Exchange filter. Likewise, if I enter the name Venezuela into the monitor, the search returns two entities. Select either to further filter on the issuer's bonds. Finally, I will turn to locating municipal bonds. As a reminder, if you know the QSIP for a specific bond, simply enter it directly into the monitor to display. Because municipal bonds are tax exempt, they are popular investments for local residents. I will type in the state of Connecticut into the monitor and hit enter to start a muni bond search. From the search box, once again, deselect all instruments except munis to display the results. However, there are relatively few issues displayed, meaning users would not get a healthy selection. So if I type just CT rather than the full state name and then hit enter, the search display returns many additional issuers when we restrict to just munis. Note the scroll bar to the right of the search display to help you review additional items. To the left of the search box, is the symbol column listing the IBC ID for the individual issue. Clicking on any bond or multiple bonds and clicking OK at the bottom of the page will add them to your monitor.